Tell me a little bit about the panel, the Sheath Already panel uh, over at Warner Brothers and what that meant to you to have that happen. It was really cool. Um, I mean, just also being around that many women, you're like, yes. And it was awesome. I mean, it's something we've been working on for a long time uh, with Sheath Already. And so to be able to kind of get up there and you're like, yeah, this is real. Like we did, we did this. And to have that platform to kind of speak on different women's issues was really awesome. And cool that the CW and Warner Brothers let us do that, like gave us this platform to talk about women's issues. And because, you know, who knows what's going to come out. I want to talk about uh, the website that you started with yeah. a good friend, Katie Lutz. I know you two have been friends for yeah. ever. I've seen you guys at events together, yeah. that kind of stuff. Tell me about the conversations that took place that led to the genesis of this idea. What was going on? You guys were swapping stories late at night in Vancouver or something? Yeah, um, we, a lot of us girls and guys obviously shoot in Vancouver. Um, it can feel very isolating when you're in a different country and we're shooting nine and a half months out of the year. Um, you don't have your friends or your family, you can't just go home. And so Katie and I, you know, started a friendship and it was just very genuine and we were talking about you know going to these conventions around the world and meeting fans especially young girls who look up to us and want to be superheroes in their own right in their own lives and you know not having the chance to really have in-depth conversations with these young girls that we sign their autograph we take a picture and they're being ushered along because there's so many people but these girls are coming up to us and they're saying you changed my life this is what I'm going through I don't feel empowered in my home life but I feel empowered when I watch you on the flash I get emotional even just talking oh. about it and so not being able to continue that dialogue with them we wanted to give something back to them to just continue that dialogue in a different way, um, whether it's articles on our website about, you know, being a woman in the workplace or pay equality or race as it affects you as a woman. Um, all of those things that we were kind of discussing with these young girls at these conventions in a very quick five minute conversation, we wanted to extend that conversation. So that's what she already is. It's really just an extension of that. Tell me about the origins. I understand it was you and Candace having conversations up in Vancouver. Yeah, we, we were just talking about how we'd meet all these young women and they'd be sharing stories with us about what they were going through and a lot of like difficult things, whether it's, you know, not feeling like they could come out or they had eating disorders or depression and suicidal thoughts, like things that were like heavy stuff. And we wish that we had a ability to be able to talk to them for longer and get deeper into things. And so we wanted to figure out a way to do that. And then when we were shooting the crossovers and we kind of got together with all the different women and we're just talking more and sharing our stories and we're able to help give each other advice and like we need to do something like make this circle bigger and so that's where we decided to do She Authority as a way to kind of connect on a deeper level with um, young women and girls and also for other people to be able to connect with each other because I think a lot of people feel alone mm -hmm. in their struggles um, but chances are it's somebody out there is going through the exact same thing of you as you and it helps a lot to know that and then also to learn what did that person do that helped them like how can I apply that to my life and yeah so that's where it came from and you have so many people involved with it too yeah they just everyone sort of was like I want to be a part of this yeah it's not just Katie and I it's all the girls from the DC TV shows every girl we've reached out to has been like yes I would love to help whatever you need and then people we meet along the way reporters people we you know they're like I would love to write an article about you know my job and what it's been like for me so we're meeting I mean I think everyone wants to tell their story that's you know what we do for a living we work in entertainment people love to tell stories and so um, yeah we're just interested in particularly the female experience. How do you see She Authority developing as it kind of grows? Like what would you like it to sort of turn into over the next couple of years? Well one of the things I'd love to figure out a way for people to be able to connect more like we don't have a forum or anything because it's hard to monitor but I'd like to figure out a way that actually connects people um, on an individual level too and they're able to kind of connect that way yeah but we are planning on doing um, video content is like a big one that we want to do and actually Maisie just texted me today um, and she's she wants to do some like documentary style stuff with different women we want to do round tables um, and then we want to do live events so we can actually like have events in real life where you get to meet up with people and and do things.